There he is. Another one out there. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. Yep. Holy cow. He is fighting way harder than... Oh my god. What you think about that one? What you think about that one? Gone. Look at that. Jig's gone. They are loaded out there. Let me tell you. All right, boys. I physically can't reach the water, so I'm going to gently toss them right here. Holy cow. That's a freaking four, four and a half pounder. What is going on, baby? Hit that like button. Hit that freaking like button. All I can say is we just got to make another cast out there, don't we? <laughs> Look at him schooling. Biggins. Biggins. I'm about to get slammed. I don't have the right bait for this. God, he's a God, he's a Next cast. Oh, he's big. Another four pounder. I'm gonna get back in there. I gotta, I gotta reel this up. I gotta release him as quick as possible. He ain't quite four, but he's about a three and a half. Can we do three casts in a row? I hope after I, re <laughs> I released them so quick without not showing you guys. Oh my God. Those are big in schooling. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Look at this. Oh, he got me. Third cast. God, dog. Another good one. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a bigger one behind him. There's a bigger one behind him. Oh my God. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Dang it. Guys, there's like a six, seven pounder behind him. He followed him all the way up to the bank. I thought I was going to be able to pitch back in and catch him too. Oh my God, that was three casts in a row. They get smaller every time, but that don't mean nothing. They're schooling. Let's catch another one. Holy crap. That is insane. Can we get four and four casts? Oh, I had a heart attack. Freaking. Oh. No way. Big. Oh my God. Biggest one today. Over. Oh my God. Oh my God. How am I going to land this? All right. Take a look at this. One of the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. That is a, such a long fish. They love this jig. And schooling fish. What's happening? I'll explain in a minute. But look at these fish. That is a freaking tank right there. Only if he wasn't post spawn. Let's go. So I actually have a question of the day for you guys. Do you guys see the weird red spots on the fish's body and the fish's tail? I'm kind of curious because I do not know. We caught multiple fish out of this lake with some weird spots. I don't know if it's a disease. I don't know if it was another fish trying to eat him. I don't know if it just injured himself. But all I know is there was multiple fish caught out of this lake that looked the same way with some type of weird skin markings all over it there's a bunch of weird cuts there's a bunch of little boils with red dots all over the fish if you guys have the answer to this please leave it in the comment section below like i said i physically like am like five foot it probably looks like i'm on the water from the gopro but what a good fish oh. there you go swam off perfect can we do five cast in five fish is that even possible i somehow still have my trailer but he's broken all right Five big bass, five casts. Let's freaking do it. We just had four and four casts. Let's get the fifth. I'm not gonna lie, guys. If I catch one of this cast, I can't even breathe right now. I might just, I don't even know. I don't even know if I can make another cast. Whew. Guys, I'm sorry for freaking out. I just love it. No way. No way. Oh my God, it's another big one. It's another tank. All right. So we just got a limit. Oh my God. Look at that. I can't even finish my sentences out here. That's a solid three. Two and three quarters. He's long though. Gotta give him that. Guys, I can't even talk. I literally can't stop catching them. That's five casts in a row. We had a huge limit. This is just, this is some next level stuff. And this is why you have to subscribe to Kicking Their Bass TV, baby. I can't breathe, man. Whew. I'm struggling. What I was getting to, guys, I'm sorry for freaking out. 
I just freaking love fishing. I love bass fishing. I just freaking love it. I fish every day, just about. I haven't fished much this week, but I fish every day. Oh my God. Big, big. Oh my God. Dude, there's no way. There is no freaking way. I mean, gone. Six casts, six biggins. Let's just get back out there. Let's do seven. My hands are literally bleeding everywhere. Can we do seven casts, seven bigs? I don't even know if that's freaking possible. I'm gonna be fair with you. Anyways, what I was trying to say, I've tried to say it three times now. I love fishing, I go every day, and I get a little excited when I catch a fish. It's just because I love it, guys. It ain't because I freak out, or I, uh, yeah, I do freak out, but <laughs> uh, I just love fishing, guys. I, I wish people would understand that more. Um, I'm just passionate about it. There ain't nothing I'd rather be doing than, than, than I got another one. This is stupid, he's small. But anyways, we're finishing off right here. All right, so there's nothing else I'd rather be doing than fishing, than bass fishing. And just to show you catching seven fish and seven casts, like that's my, that, that that's something I love guys. That's, that's like a, it's a magical drug for me, man. Like fishing, doing that right there. You, that just gets your blood pumping. I, I've, I've had the most cardio work right now in the last three minutes I've had in my life. I mean, I'm seriously in some pain right now. If we get, when's it gonna stop? Are we gonna get eight and eight cast? I mean, I'll be dog. I don't even have to cut the GoPro clip. Let's just keep it rolling the whole day. I mean, gosh, I've never seen so many big fish piled up right here. Schooling, freaking chomping. And I'm gonna talk about, once I stop my streak, which I'll probably do at this cast. I don't know, I might end up catching eight and eight cast, but I'm gonna talk about a little bit, about, a little bit about what I'm doing. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, he's big, 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 big. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, guys, I don't even know how I'm gonna land this. This is very big. I wish I had a dang scale. This is eight fish and eight freaking casts and like five of them are this big. Yo, follow me on the IG, let me tell you. Let me tell you, follow me on the IG. There's a freaking turkey. We have a freaking turkey flying across the lake. God dog, five fish or eight fish in a row and eight casts. Listen, if you guys are watching this video right now, obviously you are. If this don't get you hyped up, I don't know what the heck it does, let me tell you. So when we were throwing right out here, these fish were coming up schooling, chasing bait. This is very important information, don't skip through this. These fish were coming up chasing bait. It's always great to throw a moving bait in there, a little shad Im imitation bait to you know catch those fish, whether it's a little fish head, whether it's a trap, whether it's a top water, whether it's, you know, whatever it is, baby swim bait to catch those fish you gotta keep something in mind. Those bigger fish a majority of the time are quite lazy. This is always a rule and thumb I play. When you throw out there and those fish are schooling, majority of the time the smaller ones are the ones eating the bait. I'm not saying that every time because there's tons of schools out there of 10 pounders that are munching as we speak. But my experience, if you throw a bottom bait when the fish are schooling like that, usually the big ones are sitting on the bottom looking up. They're waiting for the dead bait and stuff to fall that the little ones are killing. And that's why I believe that jig right there was just brutal on those bass. I mean, that was nine cast nine fish, bigs, like bigs, without a doubt. All the trolls are gonna say those are one pounders, go ahead, I really don't care, but those are some big fish. So without further ado, let's go ahead and catch some more. We're gonna try this angle again. See if we can fire him up from this side. That was unbelievable. That was a whole next level stuff right there. I got another one. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. I just took a water break. Choke that jig. Craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Look at that. Look at that right there. Oh yeah. 
crazy. First cast, I just took a water break and told you guys what I was doing. I just stopped talking to you guys. I was chugging some water. I threw my first cast off the original spot. Boom. Insane. That's one fish. Let's see if we can get two. All right, I'm gonna throw one cast of this jig. See if I can catch one real quick. Then I'm actually gonna pick up the big swim bait and chuck it out there because it makes no sense for me not to be throwing the big swim bait right now. Oh my God, look at them chasing bait right there. I actually have another bait in my bag that might put a hurting on them that we might have to tie on. I just don't have pliers. Why not give it a shot, eh? Seven inch swim bait, eight inch, whatever the heck it is. Seven or eight inches, all I know is on a 10 knot hook. If there's that many big ones down there, they'll eat this thing. I caught a two pounder on this today. I should get slapped. I mean, that's a saint. Oh my God, my reel sounds like it's about to break. They're schooling right here. I got him. Holy cow, that's a bigger one than what just was eating. What the heck? Cool. Another two pounder. I don't know why I just said another because they've been four. I guess I'll resume swim bait fishing. The craziest thing would be to catch one on the swim bait this cast now. It would not bypass my mind if it happens. I literally think I broke my reel. I just caught so many fish. They're schooling again. I might as well check, it, check out the jig. Here, I'll set my pull down. There will be a fish on that. Let me uh, reel this swim bait in. There would definitely be a fish on that jig by the time I pick it up. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, he got <laughs> I'm losing, I'm losing my, I'm losing, I'm losing it, dude. I'm seriously losing it. I'm by far losing, I'm by far losing it. I'm by far losing it right now. Don't act like you guys want it either. All the haters saying, no, be quiet. Calm down, man. Feels like the best day of my life. Two and a half pounder. I cannot believe that that just happened. Oh God, I was about to knock myself out with the hook. That was one of the biggest fish I think I've ever seen in my life. All right, so I figured it out, guys. You take the jig. Oh, that is not what you do. All right, you throw the jig out there. Just so I make sure one doesn't bite it off the fall, I'll hold it for a second. Okay. Now we get the big swim bait. <clears throat> Beam that sucker out there. Let him hit the bottom. We pick up our jig and we catch a fish. All right, all right. So uh, that's what you do. Let me get him in real quick. Just a little, just a little guy. How's that for a swim bait? Eight inch mag draft. As you guys can tell, mega bass mag draft, eight inch. You guys are wondering what knot, always a uni knot. That's my simple answer for that one. Strongest knot out there, even stronger than the polymer. There's been tests done. Oh my God. A mag draft. I got him, I got him, I got him on the mag draft. I was about to say a mag draft for schooling fish. Yes, sir. On the eight inch mag draft. Chucked it into that school. He's not even that big. Oh, they're schooling it everywhere. Oh my God. The freaking swim bait is huge. Look at that on the mag draft. Freaking mag draft catches him. Schooling on a mag draft. I mean, look how big this swim bait. Like, like, look, look at that. Guys, I cannot believe that, you know, these big swim baits right here, like this mag draft, eight inch by Mega Bass, big boy swim bait. And then I don't even know what swim bait this is. This is a seven inch right here. It's got a blade on the bottom. It's got a 10 knot hook is the beast hooks. And this bad boy has been getting smucked. Lost a giant on it today. 
But both those swim baits have been a big key right now. I just wish I had multiple people out here where we could really start throwing like a variety. But you should see all the scrape marks on the mag draft. They've been tearing the sucker up. This is just one of those days, guys. If you guys haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so. Hit the like button. We're going to have some more killer videos like this coming soon. Oh, my God. Oh, he freaking, he... Oh, my God. I can't move him. This is a big one. First cast on the jig. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure he stole my trailer. So stupid, man. Look at that. Let's get back out there. Yeah, he took my freaking thing. Whatever, that should work still. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to say it again. Wash the end of my rod. Oh, my God. Mag draft. Mag draft. Are you kidding me? Why are the smaller ones eating the mag draft? He ate it right at the bank. A pretty fish. Mag draft in the school. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he came off. Oh, my God. He got it again. Oh my gosh, a mag draft. Oh, there's no way. There's no way I'm catching schooling fish with an eight inch swim bait. I'm gonna boat you in here, buddy. Yes. And they're all like, like the two and a half to three pound range for the mag draft. I mean, look at this. This is insane. This is just unbelievable. This is unbelievable. If you guys are wondering why I'm throwing them fish back like that, I, it probably looks like I'm close to the bank. I promise you, I'm by far not. I can't even get close to near that water. Freaking mag draft, are you kidding me? I think I'm just gonna stick with it.